I want to know. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. You, uh, so say no, it. No. no. Ta you, I'll tell the story when, when you're done. All right, all right. There's a teaser. Okay, okay. All right. Let's go out with Jeter. Yeah, he's not only one of the most memorable players, but also the most marketable. Ticket sales to his final home game tonight have soared, but will they change with the impending weather? Yes, joining us to talk more about this and much more, Mike Bako, sports editor at DailyNational.com. Thanks for sticking around Absolutely. with us again. Um, so let's talk about this. First of all, a rain out. Mm -hmm. Is this... Could this be possible? I mean, there's no more room in the schedule, is there? Definitely no more room in the schedule, Linda. I think everyone has everyone's fingers <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. People that bought these tickets a long time ago probably had multiple hundreds of dollars scalpers prizes. Right. Want this game to go on. The Yankees want this game to go on. Major League Baseball wants this game to go on because it becomes a bit of a headache right. if it does get rained out because the Orioles are leaving. They're going to the playoffs. They don't want to come back on Monday and make this game up. Right. Now, you mentioned scalpers there. So ticket prices, I mean, were ridiculous. The mm -hmm. average price was nearly $900. I mean, this rain out, I mean, could people not spend that much money because they don't want to sit in the rain? I think probably right now people are hedging their bets in terms of going down up to the stadium and saying, right. you know what, should I try to get some tickets? Should I try <laughs> to buy some tickets? Should I try to sell my tickets to people? Because once you sell, buy at those scalpers' prices, yeah. you're not going to be able to hunt that guy back down and, and get your money back. So every, everyone has multiple pieces in the puzzle right now. All right, talk about marketability of Derek Jeter. I mean, look, at, okay, I have a couple of things here. There, I went to the game on Friday. There were 29 different hats. I mean, mm -hmm. I got suckered in. I bought my son a hat for 65 bucks. <laughs> I got suckered into it. Talk about his effect on the bottom line of the Yankees. You and a lot of yeah. other people. Yes, Derek Jeter hats, sweat jackets, yeah. patches that they're wearing on their on their sleeve and on, on the cap. Now everything is about marketing this event because the Yankees look at what the future is going to hold over the next couple of years. And yeah. A-Rod's coming back next year. Fans are going to yeah. probably come to the stadium to boo him instead right. of cheer him. <laughs> yeah. And there's really no other marketable Yankee that will be in uniform. No more Mariano Rivera. Right. No more Derek Jeter, as good of a player as Brian McCann is, or Jacoby Ellsbury, or Brett Gardner, fans are not clamoring for more of those guys. Jeter is really the last of the breed. And another thing about Jeter, he he has not had a scandal in his 20 years with the Yankees mm -hmm. in New York City. You can't say that about too many people. Yeah. Paging David Wright, Matt Harvey, learn right. your lesson from Derek Jeter. Yeah. Not only do they look up to him on the field, they've actually said the way that he's conducted himself off the field is something to aspire to. And in New York City, it's very easy to fall into scandal. Very little has ever stuck to Derek Jeter on right. the field, off the field. He's had a uh, a great reputation and he just Most does definitely. it year after year after year. A class act. Thank you, Mike Bako. You too, Thank a class you. act. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, DailyNational.com for more insight on that. And Corey, I'm waiting for this little story. Come on. I know Bako is too. He's a Queens boy, so he's <laughs> waiting from Whitestone, Queens. Well, yesterday we we're, were, were, uh, were talking about the fact that you know, here's a guy with character and you even said, look,